buffer overflow attack on web application. In this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. First of all, we will learn about what is buffer overflow attack and then I will give you an example so that you can understand how buffer overflow works. So again, the same scenario here, uh, open Kali Linux operating system and uh, just uh, open Matilda inside it. So here guys, you can see that uh, we have opened the Matilda inside Kali Linux operating system, right? Inside the browser and uh, now uh, I need to show you that how buffer overflow works. Okay, so uh, to do that, you can select 2017 OS, come to injection other and here you can see buffer overflow and here click on repeat. Alright, so we are here at uh, the buffer overflow section which is also called repeater. So before uh, performing these kind of practicals, you can click on hints and videos and here you can click on buffer overflow. First of all, we need to take a look how it works. Okay, so what is buffer overflow? Buffer overflow may occur when input is too large to fit inside the space located. That's correct. Basically, the buffer has its own space, right? If the process wants to fill more data inside it, the buffer overflow occurs. Got it? And at that time, what happens with the application? The web application crashes or hangs at that time. All right. So you can see here that variables and arguments are limited in the amount of information they can hold before the amount of data exceeds to capacity. Okay. An unsigned byte can hold the number 255, but the number 256 will either cause an error. All right. So it is quite easy that uh, the caution is basically don't put more data than space because space is limited and you are putting more and more data inside it. So obviously your web application will hang, will crash at that time. This is the case of buffer overflow. When you are trying to insert more and more data in the web server, but it cannot hold that data. So obviously your front end, your web application will hang or will crash again and again. This is the case. So uh, an example is if uh, there is a search box in your website and uh, for example, if I type thousand character word in the search box and hit enter. So what will happen? Basically, obviously it will search, right? Or if I want to insert it in the web server, so it won't. This is not possible because the limit is limited. You cannot put thousand character word or thousand character, uh, basically the uh, thousand sentences inside the web server. That's not possible. All right. So uh, input validation is necessary that what user is typing in the boxes, in the login pages that needs to be, you need to observe the web application needs to observe that what user is typing, right? And if uh, it is above the basically the limit, then uh, web application should give an error message to the user that you cannot put uh, the data more than this space, right? Okay. So uh, click on that. It is saying that please enter string to repeat. String to repeat and number of time it wants to repeat. For example, if I type, I want to uh, repeat A. And how many times? I want to repeat it. All right. So this is a big number. This is not a small number, right? So uh, if I click on repeat string, what will happen? Obviously, your web application will hang or, will, or crash. All right. So if I click on repeat string, so you can see here that uh, it is still running and uh, I'm not able to run my web application properly, right? It is hanging and I'm not able to run it properly. You can see here, right? So it means your web application has been crashed because the data is basically above the limit and uh, you have not uh, taken care of the limit of the web application because of that it hanged or it crashed. This is not this is not the problem of user. This is the problem of web application because web application cannot store more data. So input validation is necessary. Take care what user is inputting in the web application. If it is above the limit, then give the error message to the user. Because I didn't get any ma error message from the web application. It means the web application is vulnerable to buffer overflow attack. Anyone can fill the data inside my website and anyone can crash my web application. All right, so this is called buffer overflow attack. 
i hope you understand so this is all about buffer overflow and uh, in the next video i'm going to show you that how you can perform brute force attack on a login panel or a login page of a web application so thank you so much guys for your time